Hi friends! I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video <laughs> we are going to be making some easy knit and crochet pieces that I'm actually just making for myself but technically you can make them as gifts for the holidays or just gifts in general if you just want to give you know your friends some some nice things just for the sake of it we're gonna be doing that today I really wanted to focus on easy ones that you could probably do under an hour ones that are like not very you know difficult for beginners just all around easy knit and crochet pieces that you'll actually use and are nice all above what I just said for my first piece I really want to make a headband that will keep my ears warm like a winter headband not like a toque or a beanie if you, you you're not in Canada something like a headband that you know keeps your ears warm so ear warmers that's what I'm gonna trendy ear warmers it took me a while to get there but I'm gonna be using these two chunky yarns they're both from wool and the gang this one's leftovers this is the new one and you're gonna want to use chunky yarn if you're wanting it to be quite Speedy. That's why I love chunky yarn because you can make things super super fast and I'm gonna be using these knitting needles You can also use flat knitting needles and these are 12 millimeters aka US 17 But let's start on our first project before we get into the other ones for our first one I'm gonna start off with this yellow yarn here and I'm gonna cast on as many stitches as I need to fit My little head I figured out I have a small head I always thought I had a big head, but then I started buying like things for my head, and then I realized um, they, they're a lot, they're too big. And also when I started wearing masks, when you know when Rona started, I realized all the masks were too big. So, okay, to start off with, we're doing a long tail cast on, and you want to start with amount of yarn, pretty much the height of you, like I'm doing here. Then at the end of that, we're gonna do a slip knot. Pretty simple, it's just the knot I just showed you. Then we are gonna put it onto our needle and then we're gonna be doing the cast on, long tail cast on method. It's a little confusing, so I'm gonna try to show you a few times, but pretty much you put your two fingers through, you hold it like this, you loop it around your thumb, you loop it around your index, you pull it and Bob's your uncle. That's how you do it. I'll have some, you know, videos in the description if I'm like a very bad teacher because I've been told that. So, yeah, but that's how you do it. And we're going to do a lot of them until it fits around our head. I'm just going to keep going with this long tail cast on method here and I'm just going to keep going until I get, you know, the right amount of, st of stitches. I just cast it on 40 stitches and... It feels like a good amount of stitches. I'm gonna go with 40. 40 for a smaller, medium sized head. If you have a bigger head, maybe, you know, just add a, a couple more. Now we're gonna do basic ribbing stitch, one knit, one purl. One knit, one purl. So now we're actually knitting and doing the ribbing for our headband. So, like I mentioned, we're doing a knit, purl, knit, purl, and um, if you don't know how to do that, I'm showing you. So right here, this is a purl stitch where you go through the front, loop it around, pull it off like this, and then you put it back through the middle, and then you do a knit stitch through the back, and then you loop it around, and you keep doing that back and forth, back and forth for the whole thing. And you want to have even amount of stitches so it doesn't get complicated because you always want to do knit and then a purl, and if you say you had an odd number, then the next row, it just would not look good, okay? It just wouldn't look good. And then this is what it should look like. Those bumps, those are purl stitches. The other ones, those are knit stitches in case you get confused. So once you got the hang of this like one by, by one ribbing where you're just doing knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl the whole time, we're just gonna do that for every single row because we want it to be stretchy. We want to be able to like, stretch it onto our, our heads because how else are you going to get it on so we're just going to do that for all the rows nothing else you need to know other than i'm going to add another color but you don't have to add another color you could just do a single color 
and then, you know, Bob's your uncle and you're good to go and now you have a gift for a friend. Anyways, I'm gonna do, I think about three rows of this yellow and then maybe like two rows of the purple. I wanna make it a little bit off, even, off, not even. A friend came and joined us. This is what I have. And I'm kind of feeling good with this yellow. Like I feel like that's enough yellow. So I'm gonna switch out for purple. I only did two rows, so it's super, super speedy. But now we're gonna add this really pretty lilac purple. If you haven't added a new color before, pretty much it's, it's not difficult. All you do is when you're, you know, doing your next stitch, like a knit stitch, instead of grabbing the yellow, you just grab your new color on there and you just continue on with that color. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Those colors are so pretty together. I'm almost done. I ended up doing three rows of the yellow and then five rows of the purple, so a total of eight rows, not including the cast on. So I feel like that, yeah, that's, that's a good, you know, width for my headband. So I'm just going to cast off and then we're just gonna attach the two ends together and it's done. To cast off this baby, we just need to do a basic knit stitch. So I'm going to knit two. So it should look like this. And with the, you, you know, the hook with the two, you want to take the first one we did here and you want to pull this one over this so there's only this one left over. Like this. And then you just knit one more. So we have two on this side again. Pull the back one over the front one so there's one left over and keep continuing that. And we're just gonna keep continuing that until you get to the end. Until there's like just one stitch left on your, 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 your needle. And when you get to the last stitch, you just have, you know, just one stitch here. And I just like to trim this, pull it through there, and there you go. We're done. So to put our headband into a headband you're gonna need a yarn needle like this one and I'm just starting off with the bottom here I ended up cutting you know a whole bunch of extra yarn in the end so I could just thread it through and it's just easy peasy so I put that on my needle and I'm just going back and forth back and forth through the inside of the headband doing this like invisible knitting technique I don't I don't even know what it's called I, I'm yeah I don't know what it's called but I'm doing this where I'm going back and forth back and forth all the way up to the top and then once I get to the top I am just feeding the extra yarn after knot I do a knot first and then I feed the extra yarn through the headband and then you can trim it and then with all the other you know strings you know just dangling around if you use multiple colors just feed that through the yarn needle and then tuck it in throughout you know your, your headband and you'll be you'll be dandy you'll have a dandy day i'm hungry i'm warming up my chili in the microwave so let's make this quick ta-da it fits so nicely and doesn't it look so Cute. We can also switch it. We can also do the purple on the bottom. Like, you know, endless possibilities with this. Oh, do I like it that way? I think I like it that way better with the yellow on the top there. <laughs> Look how cute this is. And that legit took me like max an hour to do it. Like it was speedy, 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 speedy. So, oh, that's my chili. This is super easy to make, 100% recommend. Next one we're gonna do is a crochet easy peasy bandana headband thing. That's what our next thing is, but. I need to eat, BRB. For our next project, we're gonna be doing crochet. And for this one, I wanted to be a little bit more creative with my color palette. I pretty much just grabbed all the colors I, I liked. So, not sure if we're gonna use all of this yarn or all the colors here, but we're gonna use a few and we're gonna do some fun patterns with this bandana. I'm gonna be using this 
crochet hook. It's a nine millimeter. Biggest one I have. I like using bigger knitting needles and bigger crochet hooks just because it goes a lot faster. So we're gonna wanna make a triangle with some strings on the side so we can tie it. That's our goal today. So I'm gonna start off with this green here and we're just going to, you know, get, um, I don't know how many stitches, I gotta figure this out again. It's getting hot in here, I have to take this off. One sec. Yeah, this is better. For our crochet, we're starting off with the same slip knot. You don't have to make a crazy long tail, it's just, you know, start wherever you want. And then we're gonna be doing these slip stitches and um, I'm just doing it like I'm showing you. Do I have to explain it? I don't really know, but we're just gonna do a ton of them. I, um, how much did I do? I don't know, I'll tell you in the future. You just gotta keep watching the video if you wanna know how many slip stitches I did, but it should look like this. We're just doing this. I have 34 here and I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a good number because we're gonna be adding, you know, two strings so we can tie it together, so. Yeah, we're gonna go with this size, okay. Good plan, 34. So now I'm gonna be doing a double crochet. And before you start each row, you're gonna wanna do one slip stitch before you start the double crochet so we get a little bit of height. And then we're just doing the double crochet stitch here. And that's gonna be the stitch for the whole bandana we're making today. It's pretty simple. It's a little tricky, I guess, to start with, but once you just keep repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating, um, it, it gets easier. So after you finish that row, we're gonna go to the next one. You're gonna start with a slip stitch like we did last time, and then we're gonna do a double crochet decrease. This is a little confusing, but it's not that difficult. You're gonna start off with a double crochet, but you're not gonna finish it, and then you're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, and then finish out the double crochet. The only thing that's different is that you'll have three loops here, but other than that, you know, you're dandy. You're gonna do that double crochet decrease at the beginning of each row and the end of each row until you're pretty much done your triangle. And then if you wanna change color, it's pretty simple. All you do is before you finish your double crochet, you just bring the new color in and then you just work off that new yarn as you go. So we learned how to change color. We learned how to decrease and we learned to double crochet. That is all we technically need to finish this, this bandana. Yeah, that's all we need. So I am just going to get some of this done by decreasing the first two stitches, last two stitches of each row. And that's it. Guess who just woke up from their fourth nap today? Jason, did you have a good nap? Was it the nap of your dreams? Oh. So I think I should do all my videos like this now. Just me and Benson, it's like a talk show. Except one of the, one of the people don't talk. It's just, it's all me. It was only $150, so could you really go wrong? I don't think so. She is done. Or like almost, almost done. We have the triangle, we're done the triangle. And I just realized that I just went to like the mirror to try to like, you know, see what it would look like. And I think it looks really good if we do it like sideways where you can have like multiple colors instead of, you know, this way, you feel me? I'm thinking like this. It's really hard to see right now, but. You, you will see in the end, you'll see in the end. So now we just need to add the little ties. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller crochet hook for this just so it's a bit tighter and it's not as stretchy. And I'm just gonna do it in say this light green color and just attach it off from here and just make some long strands. So now for our strap thing we're making. You can use any yarn for this, I'm just using this one because it's soft but you're just feeding it through on the end of the triangle and then I'm just doing a few double crochets I believe I did about two or three depending on the width you want for your strap and I just went over two or three and then you just switch back and forth and create the strap until you get your desired length 
Well, she is done! <laughs> Almost, because I didn't do the strings yet. Like, I didn't add and weave them all in. Just because I low-key kind of like having the strings just kind of hanging out and having fun. Anybody else like that look? Just me. I don't know. Low-key, I'm a little lazy when it comes to weaving in the ends, so I've just kind of like learned to love the look of it. Here it is. I'm gonna try to give you guys a 360 view of how it looks in my hair. Is this how I'm supposed to wear it, style it? I'm not, I'm not really sure, but here is a 360 after I, I just took some time and I cleaned it up, got rid of all the random strings and you know, made it, made it somewhat perfect. So here it is. My 360 reveal, even though I, I still don't even know what it looks like. Did you see it great? One more time. 360 reveal. I really hope it's cute because I don't know. I can only see what it looks like here and here. I can't see the back of my head, obviously, but I will see it once I see this video later. So I'm hoping it is cute. Here it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me making the two headbands. If you guys do make one of them or both of them, tag me on Instagram at Jennifer's because I love seeing what you guys create. But that's all I had to say today. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.